They are currently at $2.23 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $10 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 348.43% increase. And I- hey guys, in this week's episode of This Week's Winning Stocks, we're covering June 1st through June 5th. We want to see what happened in the market this week. And as you know, I like to start off with the S&P 500, the Dow, and the NASDAQ, because those three speak about what happened in the market overall. Then from there, we move on to the stocks on our watch list. So first, we have the S&P 500. And we see it's on a high again. The candles have been getting smaller as of recently. But this week we broke out to a new high. We had um, not a sizable candle, but a decent size. Next we move to the Dow. Now the Dow had moved up, then it took a tumble down. It's been moving sort of in a sideways motion. But even though it's going sideways, it broke a little above this week, or a little higher this week, I should say. But it's still not at its high. But then we get to the QQQ on the NASDAQ, which we see has also broken to a new high. It was too sideways candles the previous weeks didn't really move higher or lower so much but we broke out to a new high this week so now we're gonna jump over to the stocks on our watch list but before we do that let's jump over and take a look at our stock sage app which is giving us the stocks on that watch list. So for those who are familiar with the channel, you would know that I've been doing this for I'd say around nine months now, a little little close to a year. And um, that's running this YouTube channel. And the stocks that I find are fundamentally sound stocks that have fallen to their 52-week low, their annual low price. However, now we have the Stock Sage app. And what the Stock Sage app does is it looks for every stock on the 52-week low list for that day that has three or more years of positive earnings. So what I used to have to do manually, now the app does for me. And because of that, there were so many stocks that would fall to the 52-week low that I would generally have to focus on the ones that are $30 and above. But now that's not a factor because I don't have to do the work the app does it for me. So look at all of these stocks that have fallen to their 52-week low and they have three or more years of positive earnings. That's a lot of stocks for you to choose from. But now, you can increase your odds even more. How? By choosing only stocks from this list that have five years of stock buybacks. You could do make it even a smaller list. Notice the list is a little smaller at this point, not much. You could make it even smaller by choosing stocks with current assets above current liabilities. 
it automatically brings up ones with total assets above total liabilities. So now it's narrowed down to the stocks with the strong balance sheets. And you can say, okay, show me stocks with a 10% or greater profit margin for all five years. Now the list is even smaller. It's down to just three companies. And then you can say, okay, show me stocks with a 4% or greater dividend yield. Now a lot of stocks just have a dividend yield of like 1%, under 1%. You might find some with 2 3%. But over 4%, that's pretty decent. And now you can choose stocks with over 4% dividend yield. So here is one Greystone Housing Impact Investors. They give out mortgage loans. And we see that they pass all four of these criteria. That long list narrowed down to just this one company. And when we click on the ticker symbol to go inside and take a look at this company, we see that their dividend yield is 10.74%. Also, they're at $14.40 now. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $18.33 in the next 12 months. That is a 27.29% increase. So imagine if you're, you buy a stock that's giving you a 27.29% increase over a year's time, and it's also paying you a 10.74% dividend yield. So, but in any event, I just want to let you know all of the stocks that we're getting for this week's winning stocks at this point are stocks that are gotten directly from this stock sage app and having said that let's jump into our this week's winning stocks and first we have liberty broadband corporation they are a, well, actually, they are no stars. They're not necessarily on our watch list. But if we look, they have an earnings date coming out on August 2nd or later that week. And as we say, an earnings report is sort of like a report card for companies. And it's sort of like going to a casino. It can come out good and the company's price can jump up. It can come out bad and the stock price can really drop. So you want to be careful with the earnings supports. In any event, this stock has been sort of moving in a sideways pattern. They are currently at $54.13 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $99.14 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be an 83.15% increase. Next, we have Concentrix Corporation. They are also not on our watch list. That's why there's no stars but they have an earnings report dropping on September 25th or later in that week. They are currently at $63.49 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $88.80 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 39.86% increase. And they're sort of bouncing back and forth in a sideways pattern. 
we finally have one on our watch list, which is Interparfums. Um, Interparfums may be a name that you've never heard of, but they have um, some names under them that may be popular to you, like Abercrombie and Finch and so forth. In any event, they have an earnings report dropping on August 6th or later that week. They've moved up two weeks and then moved back a little this week. They're currently at $113.85 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $165.60 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 45.45% increase. The next we have is Heritage Global. They are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 8th or later that week. Now, they have had one, two, three positive weeks in a row. Only moved up slightly this week. It's been more of a sideways move, but it's been a positive week. They're currently at $2.48 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $4.67 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be an 88.31% increase. Notice that when it comes to these larger companies, maybe what I'm speaking larger in price, maybe a in the $100 a share range and so forth, that the estimated returns are smaller, maybe 45%, 35%, whereas these smaller companies like this one, $2.48 a share, the estimated returns are larger, 88.31% in 12 months' time. But... Um, so we'll, we're, it's still yet to see what they're going to end up in the, uh, over the 12 month period. We have Progeny Inc. Progeny Inc. is a one star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 1st or later that week. Now, they are currently at $28.44 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $37.63 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 32.31% increase. We have gambling.com. Gambling.com is a one star. They have an earnings support dropping on August 15th or later that week. They are currently at $8.03 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $12.86 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 60.15% increase. And notice we've had like three positive weeks there, but now it was a little drop back this week. It was a down week this last week. We have Paylocity Holding. Paylocity Holding is a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 1st or later in that week. And they are currently at $134.84. Yahoo analysts estimate 
they can move up to $186.86 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 38.58% increase. We have Stephen Otto Group. They are a one star. Notice that there was a positive week around a week ago. This week, positive as well, but slightly. They're currently at $18.53 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $28.16 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 51.97% increase. We have Diageo PLC. Diageo is an interesting company. If you like alcohol, and I must admit I like alcohol as well, well, many of the alcohols that you may drink may have been made by this company, Diageo PLC. In any event, Diageo has an earnings report dropping on July 30th or later that week. They are one star. They're currently at $129.64 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $155.32 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 19.81% increase. Now, they have been moving down a bit. But we see one green candle here this last week. We want to see what they will do moving forward. They're going to start to move back up. Another thing I have to say is alcohol has, I would say, has been a solid investment. But it seems that some of the larger institutions are scared off from alcohol these days, and I'm not sure if that's a result of the legalization of marijuana in certain places. So now they feel that that's going to start to encroach on the profits from alcohol, which may be the reason for lower institutional investors when it comes to Diageo. But in any event, very interesting company, Diageo PLC. WTI, or WNT Offshore, not what I would call a fundamentally solid company, that's why you see I have no stars for them. But they have an earnings report dropping on July 30th or later that week. And W&T Offshore is good old American oil. They are currently at $2.23 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $10.00 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 348.43% increase. And I have to admit, when I saw this fall down a few weeks ago, I was one of the first to snatch it up. I didn't get much. I just got like um, about 100 shares or so. But I'm up about 5% so far. Um, I saw this as an opportunity 
knowing what WTI does. I know we're getting into a lot of electric vehicles, but I don't think oil is gone. Oil is still very much needed. It's going to be around for a while, a few decades, or whatever the case is. In any event, let's move on to the next one. We have Tegna. It's another one I grabbed up. Tegna Inc. They have an earnings report dropping on August 7th. They are a two-star. Notice they moved up two weeks in a row. This week, they didn't really move up much, didn't really move down much. We want to see what they do moving forward. In any event, they're at $13.88 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $19.13 in the next 12 months. If they do, that's a 37.82% increase. Cisco Systems. I remember I used to work in a job. It was in tech support. And they um, were a customer of Cisco. They used to use Cisco for the remote access capabilities. At that time, I knew it a company, but not until recently when I analyzed the company did I realize they were such a beast. They were so solid a company in terms of their fundamentals. In any event, they are dropping an earnings report on August 14th or later that week. They had a nice little move up here. This week wasn't much. But this last week, they moved back a little. They're currently at $46.65. A share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $54.79 a share in the next 12 months. And if they do, that will be a 17.45% increase. Now, that's not much of an increase overall, but if you get a look at the fundamentals for this company, then you would become convinced of the same thing that I'm convinced of, that this is a pretty solid company. And you know those fundamentals are all available to you in the Stock Sage app. We have Patria Investments. Patria Investments has been there. They're coming off a positive week this week, but they've been sort of moving sideways last three weeks. They have an earnings support dropping on August 1st or later that week. They're a two-star. And they're currently at $12.33 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $19.53 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 58.39% increase. We have... Tootsie Roll Industries, you know, they make candy, Tootsie Roll included, but multiple candies. They have an earnings report dropping on July 24th. They are a two-star, and they are currently at $30.09 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have a projection. 
But my projection based on P-E ratio is that they can move up to $43.98 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 46.16% increase. We then have Diamond Hill Investments. Now, this company I have rated as a two-star, but this is a pretty solid company with a pretty decent dividend yield. In any event, they have an earnings support drop in August 1st or later that week. They're currently at $141.13 a share. And Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate, but my conservative estimate based on PE is that they can move up to $164.49 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 16.55% increase. We have Market Access Holdings. They're a three-star. They're involved in investing or finances. They have earned support dropping on July 18th or later that week. And we see they're sort of moving in a sideways pattern. Let's see if they break out after this. They are currently at $204.65 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $233.67 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 14.18% increase. We have... Tatron Corporation. They have an earnings report dropping on August 12th for later that week. And they are a three star, fundamentally sound, which is crazy for such a small company. We saw them with a couple of positive candles, very small, so they didn't move up much. But still, the last couple of weeks have been green. They've been positive candles. They are currently at $2.71 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate. But my estimate is that they can move up to $3.22 in the next 12 months. And bear in mind, that's my conservative estimate. If they do, that will be an 18.82% increase. And we have Nike, I believe this may be our last. Nothing more to say about Nike. We all know who they are. In any event, we don't see a positive candle here. But we see a long negative candle. I believe they had a negative earnings report. They've really dropped. So, and here we see a sort of doji. We want to see what they do moving forward. Now, they have an earnings report dropping on September 26th or later in that week. They are a three star. They're currently at $75.43 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $86.36 in the next 12 months. And they are a, I should say that is a 14.49% increase if that happens. 
In any event, guys, that's it for this week's Winning Stocks. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Have a great day.